it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. I'm really, really excited today to show you a brand new Family Feud style PowerPoint template that I've created for you. Now, you may already be familiar with my other template if you've seen this video, but this is a brand new template. It looks better and it has a bunch more functionality. So I'm very excited to share it with you. Let's go ahead and jump in. I want to show you what it looks like. So I'm here in the PowerPoint and the first thing I'm going to do is put it into slideshow mode. I'm going to go slideshow and then I'll say from beginning. And then the first thing it's going to prompt me to do is to enter team. So that's one of the really cool things with this template is it has uh, the ability to enter team names and then you're gonna see them throughout the game. So when I hit that, I'll hit enter teams. It's gonna prompt me and I'm just gonna type in the name of team one, hit okay. And then I'll enter the second name and I'll hit okay for that. And then my music is going to start up, my curtains are going to open, and I'm going to be ready to play. There's the name, uh, the, the logo, and then I, you can see the names that I entered carry over, and you can see them displayed here. So next, I'm going to hit Let's Play, and that is going to take me to the board. So, you know, usually if I'm playing this game, I'm going to have two contestants come up and they're gonna buzz in. Of course, I need to show them the question. So you see the button here, show hide question. I'm gonna put the question up. What is your favorite Walt Disney World Hotel? They're gonna buzz in, I'm gonna hide it, and whoever buzzed in first gets to answer first. Now, of course, the object is to come up with the number one answer. Let's say in this case, uh, Donald buzzed in and he, had the number two answer of Wilderness Lodge. So then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to click on the point value, 25. That's gonna bring those points up to the top. And of course, since it's not the number one answer, that means Mickey gets a chance to uh, try to come up with the number one answer. And let's say in this case, Mickey does. So we will reveal the number one answer again, and I'm just clicking here in the circle. And there you go, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Wow, great. So now I will click on that point total. And again, you see how it keeps the score here at the top. Now I'm going to turn to Mickey. I'm going to say, okay, do you want to pass or play? Most of the time, they're going to choose to play. So then I'm just going to continue the game like normal. And basically, you know, you go to each person on the team they get a chance. If they get the answer right, you're gonna reveal it. So let's say the number three answer comes up, I reveal it. I'm going to, again, remember, every time you reveal it, you'll wanna click on the points to add them to the top. And, you know, if they get it right, great. If they get it wrong, of course, you have the strikes. And of course, the rules are that you get three strikes um, before the other team gets a chance to steal. And the way those work, they're, they're just right here. So if they, they get it wrong, I can click this, strike comes up. If they get it wrong again, a second strike comes up. And then there is the, um, the third strike. And when the third strike comes up, it's going to hang around because it's, it's reminding you, oh, that's it, they're done. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on that. It's going to tell me, okay, switch teams because now the other team gets a chance to steal. So I'm going to hit okay, and then it'll disappear. So now Donald gets to uh, try to steal from Mickey. And let's say in this case, they are unsuccessful. They do not come up with another answer. So sorry, Donald, you don't get to steal. So the points are going to go to Mickey. Now, what I usually do before moving on is I, I'll usually go through and reveal the rest of the answers. So all I'll do is click, 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 and click. And I reveal them. But notice I'm not clicking on any of the numbers because I do not want those uh, to add to the score because they did not earn 
these points. Um, but they're revealed now, and now I can take that 80 points. I'm gonna give it to Mickey. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click here on the number, the zero, and those 80 points are gonna transfer over. And that's that. And then you'll see um, these will all come back, the covers will all come back. Uh, and that's just show you know, just signifying, okay, the round is done. It's time to move on. So we're done with this round. And then I'm just gonna continue to the next round. Now, as far as how many rounds, um, how many questions, that's gonna be basically up to you. Now, I will tell you there is a maximum within one presentation, there's a maximum of 10 rounds. Um, but if you want less than that, which that's, you you know, usually I do four or five rounds. Um, and that's, you know, for, for a review type situation, I, I usually only do a few rounds. But um, if you wanted to do up to 10, you could. Now, if you need more than 10 rounds, that's okay. Then what you'll do is you will just copy as, you'll, you'll take this presentation, you'll um, say, or I should say save as, you'll save it into a new presentation and then you can put your new um, separate questions there. So like maybe you have different topics that you wanna talk about. You could have more than one presentation saved. So that's how you would do that. But anyway, um, but if you have less than 10 rounds, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Let's say, let's say in this game, I'm only gonna have two rounds. So this time Donald gets the number one answer. So we're gonna, oh, sorry, I forgot to show you the question. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, just once again, you know, you click on that button, there's the question. Did I take the question away? But the points are there. I'm gonna, you know, keep clicking. Let's say Donald's team does really well. They really know their attractions and they end up getting all of them. So they got 100 points and now they get assigned that 100. And again, I just clicked on that zero. All right, so I'm on round two, but whatever round you want to stop at, here's how you do it. So basically, when you finish the round, you can see who the winner is, right? Because you can see Mickey has 80, Donald has 100. So in this case, with these two rounds, Donald is the winner. So to indicate that, I'm just going to click on that team name. And what that's gonna do is go to a congratulations slide. It's gonna say congrats, Donald. It's gonna play a nice little fanfare music. And that's it. And then you can click on end game. And that's really important. You always wanna click on the end game. Don't just hit escape. And the reason for that is because end game is what's gonna reset all of the stuff. See how the X's are disappearing? And now this is back to just generic team one and team two. So that end game is really important. And it's because behind the scenes in this particular template, there are things called macros at work. And macros are these little programs within PowerPoint that work behind the scenes um, that allow for certain interactivities to happen like this automatic scoring and the team names and the fun stuff like that. Okay, now that you've seen how it is played, let me show you how to customize the game. And basically, you're, you really don't want to do a whole lot of customization. Like you really, um, first of all, you don't want to delete any slides. You don't want to add any slides. You really just want to kind of let it be the way it is. And the reason for that is because of the macros. When you start uh, doing too much editing and deleting and things like that, it can mess up the macros and then things don't work the way they're supposed to. So I'm going to show you five things that you can customize within the game. And these should really be the only five you need to uh, customize. Okay, so starting with the title. The first thing you may want to customize is the title because depending on what you're doing, you know, I, uh, I know a lot of folks use this like at family gatherings. So you might wanna change the friendly to something else, like maybe your 
you know, your last name. So maybe this is the Smith family and they're going to play Smith Feud. Um, but you can certainly change the title to something that makes sense for you. Okay, so that's one. Number two, of course, what's one of the big things you're going to want to customize? The questions, of course. Now, a lot of people get confused. They, they go to the board and they're like, I don't see where I can, where can I uh, edit the question? No worries. It's over to the side. It's a little tricky, but look here. You're going to just scroll over and there it is. It's over on the right of the slide. So that's where the question is. All you're going to do is highlight and change the question. You're just going to type over and change the question. And you'll see now this one was already done. But this is what it looks like uh, when you first have the template open. It just says, type your question here, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to highlight it, type your question. Then you're going to go back over to the main slide. And then the third thing you're going to want to customize, of course, the answers. Of course, you want to have your own answers um, for your game. So again, all you're going to do is go to the answer box and type something. <laughs> so I'm just gonna type in whatever my new answer is. And that's how you do that. Super, super easy. You can see that's what I did on these other ones. I just typed over with what I wanted, okay? Now, the fourth item that you might want to customize would be the point values. So, you know, depending on you know, how you like to play, you may want your points to be worth more. I typically, I'm, I like to make sure everything adds up to a hundred. That's what I do. Um, but you know, maybe you're going to get into some rounds where you want to double the points or triple the points, you know, whatever you want to do. So that's really easy. It's the same principle. You're just going to go in, highlight the number. Maybe I want to make this worth 50 points. So that's it. All you do is replace the number. So that's how you do that. Super easy, okay? And then the final thing, the fifth thing that you may want to customize and that you can customize without messing anything up uh, will be the number of answers. So of course, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I see you have eight answers there, but a lot of times my, you know, my questions don't have eight answers. And in fact, you noticed mine didn't. Like this one, I had seven, this one, I had six. So what do you do about that? Well, it's really easy. If you wanna have less than eight answers, all you have to do is delete the extras. So, so I know I said, I'm, I'm basically, most, mostly I'm gonna tell you don't delete stuff, but this is okay. Um, if you delete this, like let's say if I only want seven, you know, I and I'm doing this kind of the long way, I'm doing one by one. I mean, you could, you know, you could highlight and select multiple like that and delete. But there, now I only have five answers. So that's what you can do there. You can, you can delete those and you should be fine. Um, to have less than eight. So now the only thing left to tell you is how to get the template. Although you've probably already guessed, of course, I put the information in the description below. And um, of course, you can also go to my YouTube shop to find this brand new template. So I hope you will grab it, use it and have fun. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you next time.